Okay, so I'm having a really interesting discussion here with um, Marcus, who's the, the client we're working with here at the moment, and he's got a little dachshund uh, called Charcoal, quite a cool name I think. Charcoal is nine years old and um, has had a history of um, biting people, uh, going crazy when it sees dogs, going crazy when people come in the house. Um, so what we've been doing is teaching appropriate punishment which is how you decrease the likelihood of something happening again and also appropriate reinforcement how you increase the likelihood of something happening again so we've been doing that through um, using a touch correction or a bonker and also using place command as the do this instead we've been having a great discussion because um, I, I squeezed Marcus in right at the last minute because of the, the scenario that they're going through and I traveled 150 miles to, to come and see him and, and they're paying you know, a lot of money for me to come in and help them. And so him and his sister did, uh, Marcus is young, he's 17, and his sister uh, is a wee bit older than him. And they, um, they did a lot of research as well. They, they're brilliant clients, they did a lot of research before they came to me. Um, they looked online, they had been recommended to me by, by a balance trainer in America. So thank you Meredith for that. Um, and then they, they found me, and but they still then did the research. They had a conversation with me on the phone, um, a good long conversation, and then his sister phoned me as well and had a conversation um, about the, 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 any concerns they have or how I, how I would do things. And of course, I'm more than happy to answer that and help them with that. <clears throat> and what they always found as well is, well, I noticed you get a lot of negative uh, press, if you like. Uh, but they, what they observed was that the negative was all unfounded, there was no evidence of anything, and it was all anecdotal and really pathetic. Um, <clears throat> and that, that was the words they were using. <clears throat> it's reality, it's absolute reality. Um, all we're trying to do is better the relationship, bring more balance to it. That's really what we're trying to do. Uh, and, and what we are doing every single day, to where you have somebody that wants me to travel uh, 150 miles to come and help them with their dog. Or, or next week I'm traveling 500 miles to help somebody with their dog, you know, and so you've got to look at the, the reality of what you're getting as success or what people call positive in your own area and it's really, it's not the case, you, you've got to open our eyes. So here we're doing the door um, scenario which normally causes mayhem at their house and it can cause the dog to jump and also bite people and here, what you're going to see is the difference already of, of the door scenario. Okay, so let's chat the door. So we've got a bit of barking. Now normally the dog would also recently have been muzzled because of the, uh, the you know, the concern about there's nothing wrong with a muzzle. The muzzle is a great way to help in, in training. Um, perfect, take your time. Well done, so he's providing attention, direction, affection here. Get the dog's attention, give direction, then give affection. There we go. That was very good. Nice. Yeah, squash that. No. Bad. Well done. Well done. How are you? Blah blah blah. Person comes in. And also, I'm noticing you're quite relaxed. Do you feel a bit more comfortable with like co yeah. me coming in your home compared to when I first came to your home? Well, yeah, you saw me. I was pulling the dog back. So yeah, and he was, and and also when you were pulling him back, he was getting more aggressive. Yeah, yeah, wasn't he? Whereas here, you're managing to have <laughs> excellent and well done. Good job, buddy. Well done. <clears throat> and you're mastering uh, place command. This is the do this instead. Mm -hmm. I want you to just chill here. Well done. And uh, and and this is like what an hour and a half in. Yeah. You know, and look at the difference of them. Mm -hmm. Much much more relaxed. Um, <clears throat> and you did all that by yourself there. Totally claimed the space. Mm -hmm. Really really good. And you applied an appropriate. No, stop that. Mm -hmm. To do this instead. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just the same as the analogy of the child drawing on the wall or. Or, or someone stealing your car, you know, um, to where you then have, I want you to go and pick up those bag of treats. All right. I know, I want you just be able to just put the treats on the floor, just the bag on the floor, that's it. So, so well, something like that you would just have never done, would you? No, like you, you, you would have just well, I remember when you, you first, I said, have you got treats that we can work with with your dog? And you said, yeah, I'll get them, but oh, he, if I drop that, he's nabbing that bag, you yeah. know? 
Whereas this is really good. Now he, good job, buddy. Now he really wants to, mm-hmm. but he's also going, ah, but there's rules attached here, you know? Mm-hmm. So this is proof in the pudding with him. That's very good. Look at that. I need to get a photo of him. <laughs> yeah, charcoal. Okay. That's yeah, it. Got, got the eyes. And... From the camera. He knows when I take a oh, you were looking right at me there, though. You were looking at me for the photo, which was really, really good. So that's just the reality of it. And some, like, behaviours like barking at the door or stealing food and that sort of thing or jumping on people, they're behaviours you can stop straight away. Yeah, they're not things that go, you know, yeah, I'm working on it. I've been working in three months to stop him jumping on people. Well, we and that, yeah, and if you're just doing, yeah, you said it yourself, so just doing... It's just too misleading online. I mean, all of them are reward, reward, reward. I mean, yeah. I mean clearly, it yes. doesn't work until... You actually rather provide rules, no, in, mm-hmm. no boundaries, as you said. And it, I mean, look at them. Very good. Yeah. Well done, mate. See, everybody should be listening to the seventeen-year-old, not listening to the blooming trolls. 